أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على رسوله الكريم الحمد لله رب العالمين السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته ورمضان مبارك إن شاء الله تعالى we want to continue our discussion on the matter with regards to the transformative nature of fasting in the month of Ramadan. And one of the key points that we uh, uh, want to focus on is the idea by the necessity of making sure that we have given ourselves its due, that we've taken care of ourselves. Allah in the Quran says, Ya ayyuhalladina amanu alaykum anfusakum. Oh, you believe it is your job to take care of yourselves. Take care of yourselves. How? By first knowing who you are. You're fasting Ramadan, but you don't know who you are. And so it's easy for you to get knocked off uh, uh, the path real quick because you don't know who you are. You don't, you don't, you don't, you don't recognize the fact that there are some things that you uh, are, are strong areas and there's some areas that you're weak in. But acknowledging those to yourself by first doing this self introspection during the month of Ramadan. Remember, this is a transformative time. This is a time for transformation. And you're seeking to become someone better than you were when you came in. You're not worried about the next person, but you are concerned with yourself. Because Allah says, Alaykum and Fusakum. It's your job to take care of yourselves. This is what Allah says in the Quran. He makes it clear that you are obligated to take care of you. No one else is. It is your job. And during the month of Ramadan, the institution of fasting should act as a tool to get you safely to your destination. And where is that destination? Where are we really trying to go? Are we really just trying to go to Cancun? Are we really just trying to go to Miami? Are we trying to go somewhere, the Disney World? No, we're trying to go to Jannah. The last time I checked, the Muslims are trying to go to Jannah. The Muslims want to go there. They want to be in a position to where they get to find the good pleasure of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, and they do so without having to suffer the consequences of bad behavior. And so in the month of Ramadan, is a transformative time, it also allows us to modify our bad deeds for good deeds. Instead of us being somewhere wasting time, we're spending constructive time somewhere. We're at the masjid, the masjid. We're at the places of worship. We're at the Islamic centers. We're at the schools. We're at places where we can be of some assistance, not only to ourselves, but to others. So the transformative period for the Muslim in the month of Ramadan stems from the idea behind these activities that we that we are sent that we that the month of Ramadan is centered around. Not just iftar and suhoor. Ramadan is about more than that, dear brothers and sisters. If you look at fasting in and of itself, restraint from food and drink is something that's small. It's a small matter to restrain yourself from food and drink. It's a small matter. The greater matter, dear brothers and sisters, is the matter concerning the, 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 the character building, the taskiyatul nafs, the purification of the soul. And this conversation, dear brothers and sisters, this transformative nature of the blessed month of Ramadan and the institution of fasting has to be one that we review while we're in the process in case we miss something. And maybe we can be reminded that this is the path that we should be on and that we shouldn't get lost in our efforts, that we should be busy about our work trying to get it done in the blessing of the Ramadan. Dear brothers and sisters, you have a few more days left. Don't let the month pass you by without doing that self-introspection, without modifying your behavior to suit Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and his messenger's example. To suit what Allah says in the Quran and in, in the example of his messenger. It's imperative that you do this. Your life in the hereafter depends on it, dear brothers and sisters. Some people think because they got it good here that their troubles are over. But many people will find that they had it so good here and they chose not to do what Allah said do that they'll have a problem later. We seek reference to Allah from those who, uh, who've earned Allah's wrath and who wander aimlessly in confusion. And we ask Allah to aid us to be of those who remember him and to show gratitude to him and worship him in the best way. And we say, I mean, Allahumma, I mean, Ya Rabbul Alameen. When we come back, dear brothers and sisters, we'll continue our discussion on the transformative nature of fasting 
in the month of Ramadan, our journey toward excellence, how we can outdo ourselves, me against me. Assalamu alaikum.